Welcome to NHL Draft Pros. Today I'll be doing a scouting report on Cutter Goche as voted by our subscribers and as always I'll go over some stats and break down game highlights to see what makes him a top rated prospect for the 22 NHL Draft. If you're a subscriber please join us on the Draft Pros Community Mock Draft and you'll be able to vote on what players are selected in each position and we'll see how we stack up against the real draft come July 7th. You'll need to subscribe to the channel to join the community and please like the video to help us grow. Thank you. All right, back to Cutter Goche. He's a big power forward who is a great skater and has a pretty deadly shot. He spent the season with the under 18 U.S. National Development Team and is listed at 6 foot 3 and 194 pounds. He shoots left and can play either the center or wing position. So good versatility on forward, that's always a bonus. Now let's look at his draft rankings. NHL Central Scouting has about number three among North American skaters behind only Shane Wright and Logan Cooley. So a nice jump in the rankings there. TSN Craig Button has him at number six, FC Hockey at 13, Sportsnet at 11, McKean's Hockey at 20, and Elite Prospects at 14. Here's a quote from TSN.ca. He reminds me a lot of Max Pacioretty. A snap of the wrist and he can score. He can beat you with speed, quickness, and he'll attack you. But if you give him open ice and distance, he'll beat you. He knows how to finish in and around the net. Next are his season stats. And he had a decent season, registering 65 points in 54 games with 34 goals and 31 assists and was fifth on the team in scoring. Now, if you look at his stats here, you'll see a trend. Every season for the past four seasons, he scored more goals than he had assists, which means he is a sniper. And this is confirmed on his shot map. So we can see from this that he has a pretty decent shot and he could score from different areas on the ice. If we look at his point per game chart, we can see that he was also fifth on his team with a 1.15 points per game for the season. Next are the advanced stats. And the one thing that stands out are his expected goals of 16. So he was a plus 15 for goals scored above expected, which is really nice. And his points per 60 were 3.8 and goals per 60 were 2.6. So like I said, this kid can shoot the puck. So now we're going to get into video analysis. And as always, we're going to look at skating, shooting, passing, puck control, hockey IQ, compete level, and what he needs to improve on. First is the skating. And like I said, for a big kid, he can move pretty well. So let's watch this clip right here. And you can see that he picks up the puck along the boards and he is gone. He is gone. And then puts it five hole for the goal. Nice goal. So let's watch that again. Picks off the D here. And then just puts on the burners and see you later. And then look at this. Just snipes it five hole. Nice goal. Nice effort right there. Oh, close up. Let's see that again. So look at his stride. Nice, long, powerful stride. Perfect scores. All right, this one here, you're going to see some of his edge work. So he's going to follow the play here, follow the player, actually. And he is going to kind of get that. And then watch this. He springs him for a breakaway, and he's gone again. And boom, short side. Nice goal. Let's see that again. So we, like I said, we see some of his edge work. Doesn't lose that player. You see that? He kind of stays with him. And then a nice little pick there. And then springs him, and he is gone. And then he goes stick side. Thank you very much. All right, this one here is wearing number 42 there, the arrows on him. So he picks up the puck and watch this. Goes around this guy, no problem. See you later. Then, oh, nice little drag there and then backhand. Oh, he didn't score, but what a play. Let's watch that again in slow motion. So he picks up the puck there in the offensive zone, takes it wide, cuts across, puts a move on him, see you, and then also gets a nice scoring chance. Actually, he drew the penalty there. So nice play. Shooting. Like I said, he can, boom, oh, ho, ho, ho. let's watch that again. Top cheese, slow motion, yes, indeed. Here we go, and boom, he just let, like, that came off fast. So one of the things is, he's got a really nice quick release. So let's watch this one here. Picks up the puck, takes it down the wing, and then he just zings it top shelf. Oh, my God. Let's watch that in slow motion again. So see, uses his speed here to go wide, and then he just lets it go, boom, top shelf. Arrow on him. You know what this means. One timer alert. Here it comes. The stick is teed up. Boom. It's in. Let's watch that again. Slow motion and nice release. You see that whip on his stick there? A little close up action. Cuts it across and it's already in the net. No time to react. Nice little pass here. Oh, yeah. Logan Cooley. Boom. It's in. Perfect. All right. So, one of the things that um, I don't think he gets enough credit for, and he, ha he actually improved throughout the season was his passing and so let's watch this little clip here 
Erwanum as usual. So he gets the puck here, and then watch this. Right through the stick, and it sets up Cooley. What a goal. Let's see that again. So they break out here, and uh, it's a give and go. Boom, and then nice slide across, open net. Perfect feed. Nice little passing play there. Good heads up. You know, for a shooter, he could have released it there and had a chance probably of scoring, but uh, he decided to slide it back over, and actually that was a really nice little play there. All right, this one here slides it right across the crease. Just has to tap it in. Perfect. See that? So he digs it out of the corner. Right through. Boom. Touch. It's in the net. What a goal. One more replay. There it is. So nice little heads up play there. Like I said, he had to go through the scene there. So that was nice. All right. This one here. I wanted to show this one. It's a long bank pass that uh, springs um, his teammate for a breakaway. And they scored. Nice goal. So let's watch it again. So he sees he's got three guys on him. And what a bank pass right there. Look at this. And then... Nice little move here, and that's a pretty goal. All right, puck control is next. The arrow is on him. You know what? I wouldn't say that he has tremendous stick handling skills, but, you know, again, he's a power forward type player, so he's going to use his body to kind of protect the puck. So in that essence, he's a pretty, pretty decent when it comes to puck control. So let's watch this one here. Takes it right up the middle, dekes out two guys, and then he gets... A nice goal. I see that release. So see how quick he lets that go. And it is this one here. The arrow's on him. He's going to pick it up. And uh, he's going to make a nice little move right there. And power move to the net, right? And then slides it over. You know what? Nice little play there. Let's watch that again. So same thing. Power move. Just puts a move on that one player. And then takes it hard to the net. The 1D commits. And then he just slides it over. For it. So see, nice little passing there. Like I said, his passing improved. Uh, throughout the year. So this one here, you're going to see, he get he loses the puck. The defense actually kind of pokes it, but then he regains it. So And he's on the fly, so that's pretty hard to do. So let's watch this again. Right here, you'll see. I got the arrow on him. It's a little poke check by the D right there. But he picks it up, does a little toe drag there, and then dishes it off for the drop pass for the, for the uh, goal. So nice little hands right there. All right, IQ. So as usual, I take I pick one game and I see what kind of things he's doing good and what kind of things he's doing bad. So this one here, defensive play. So he kind of anticipated the outlet, wins the bow. So see, strong little compete there. I like his play. And then he rims it behind the net So for puck possession. So that's a nice little play there by him. Picks up the winger over here. And again, which leads to more time in the O zone. Okay, so nice little uh, defensive play there. Good IQ, good hockey IQ. So this one here you're going to see. They're on a power play, so he knows he's going to try to dump it out, and he covers the point. Then he gets a shot on net, and uh, they keep it in, and then watch this. He gets the buck here. Nice little move right there. Takes his time. So, again, slowing the play down. Players who can slow the play down, you always want that on your team. All right, this one here. This is the two-on-one that we saw earlier, So that, but if you see how the L it was, so nice little play there again. Good heads up play. So, you know, Hockey IQ is pretty decent in that department. All right, compete level. That's one of his, uh, a strong part of his game is the compete. So this one here, he's back checking. He wins the puck, slides it over to his D, and then uh, they move on down the ice. But watch this. So they lose it again, and he hustles back to help out for the two-on-one. So nice little hustle there, good compete. This one here, you're going to see the arrows on him, and he's going to attack the play, and then it's going to go in the corner, and he's going to use his body. I should have showed some clips of him hitting, but anyways, he's going to attack the puck and he's going to pin the player against the boards there and he's going to dig it out. So nice little play. So let's watch it again. So again, attacks the player, gets the puck in the corner here, and then you're going to see that he pins the player there, gets him out of the way, and eventually they win the puck battle and they get puck possession. So good on him there. All right, arrow here on him, and you're going to see that he loses the puck Little giveaway there. And then he chases him down, though. And he gets the puck, or he almost gets the puck back. So nice little play there. So let's watch this again. So he looks like he's going to drop it to his D. Nope. The um, Sweden intercepts there. And he chases him down and covers the zone. So nice little hustle there. All right, what he needs to improve on. So like I said, young players sometimes, they get a little lazy on their shifts. So a little bad stick check there. And then he's floating around. So again, just doing big circles. So this is him at the bottom of the screen there, number 19. You're going to see he's got a guy covered right here, and then he kind of just watches him, and then they score. 
So again, just a little lazy on the defensive play there, and then they end up scoring on that one. So this one here, same thing, a little bit lazy back check. So you can see him back check. They drop it back to the one player right here that he was covering. He gives him a little poke check, not enough. They score. So let's watch that in slow motion. So you're going to see that he kind of just takes his time on the way back here. So right there, he's just floating. He's watching. He's watching. That guy gets it, and he ends up scoring. So again, little things, you know, young guys sometimes. The other thing is risk management. So we're going to see a couple of plays here where he passes into traffic. It gets picked off, and they go down and score. Um, you know, little things young players kind of make mistakes frequently on. You got to clean up some of that stuff if you want to make it to the next level. And he'll have a year or two in the uh, NCAA to, to fix that problem up. So again, this one here, bad pass. But like I said, he chased him down and kind of recovered. So not too bad overall. All right. So some of his strengths, like I said, definitely is skating, his balance. He's a big boy, but he also has really good balance. Hard to knock him off the, the puck. So that's a, a bonus. Uh, puck control, like I said, he uses his body to kind of protect the puck. So... Uh, along the boards or even when he's going one-on-one. -on -one. He doesn't have that finesse game so much, you know, the the uh, soft hands, but uh, he gets it done and his compete, which is really good too. And you could probably add it on there the, with puck control is his shooting. Some of his weaknesses or what he needs to work on, like I said, occasionally he's weak on the puck, especially on D, just kind of watching. And then risk management, you know, trying to make too many moves or, or trying to force a pass and getting picked off which can lead to, obviously, some trouble. And that's it. So our next video is Marco Casper. We're going to try to get that out for the weekend. So looking forward to see Marco Casper. A lot of people have been asking about him. And like I said, if you want to get into the community mock draft, please subscribe and like the video. And also let us know if there's any players from the 22 NHL draft that you'd like to see in the comment section below. Cheers.